Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the short, independent horror slash comedy film called Night of the Sea Monkey, a disturbing tale. Now, Night of the Sea Monkey tells us the story of Toby O'Connor, a young boy who sees an ad for sea critters, and by God, he wants to get those mail-order sea critters, and after some negotiation with the parents, he gets the sea critters in the mail, puts them in water, and tries to raise them as his own pets. But things do not go as planned or as laid out by the instructions, and it causes some terror within the family. Folks, Night of the Sea Monkey, a disturbing tale. Tale. It is a lot of fun. I enjoyed this film immensely. Uh, one of the things is, is just the uh, script that they had with this. The, the dialogue and everything, the way they wrote it, really was a little bit of send-up to old-school horror, okay? So I enjoyed that bit quite a bit. In fact, while watching this overall, I'm like, this would be great in one of those anthology films, like the old-school, like creep show anthology movie. This would have a place right in there. I would lead with this movie because it's just that much much fun. Now all the performances in here are done really well. Sean Laguna who plays Toby O'Connor, the boy who ordered the sea monkeys, loved his performance in here. He did a great job delivering his lines. It seemed very natural and very comfortable in front of the camera. And he had a great cast around him. Uh, you have Joe uh, Manetti who we saw in the Summer of Massacre. He played the dad. Stacy Stocker played his mom. You had Caitlin Hurst and Richard Markham playing his siblings. And everybody has some great chemistry. Everybody does well. They play off each other really well. Definitely felt like a real family. And then enter Grandma O'Connor played by uh, the fantastically talented Lynn Lowry. And she, her character is just crazy. I, I loved Grandma Lowry quite a bit. You never quite knew what you were going to get out of that character. And she played it to the T. And really overall, all the performances, really well done for a short independent film like this. And then there's the production value of it overall. Practical effects abound. Hooray for practical effects. And you don't always get to see uh, some of the things that are happening. They're implied. And you got to leave it to your imagination. And I love that. I love the fact we don't always get to see the full thing, at least not right away to keep your imagination going. And the effects were really great and practical. So plus column there. And the overall look of the film, really, the lighting and the audio and everything about it had a very uh, professional feel to it. Definitely a top-notch production overall for Night of the Sea Monkey, a disturbing tale. And I really enjoyed this, folks. And I think you will, too. See if you can catch it at a festival somewhere. I'll put more information down below and find out more about it. But Night of the Sea Monkey, disturbing tale. Again, a gem of an independent short film and showing you just what the indie scene can bring you. And it's a lot better than what most, not all, but most of Schlollywood horror out there. And thanks for joining us again for the final cut. Until next time, folks, keep that ticket stub.